privilege of sitting next to Christophe yesterday to hear some, about some of this work, which is truly fascinating. My co-chair is also involved in this, so we look forward to hearing it. Okay. So, first of all, thank you very much for, for arriving so early this morning. So it's always a, a, a pleasure to present here. We were already giving a talk like two years ago, and today I would like to give a little update where we were going, like, like with, with the development of, of, of the, this treatment option we see, like, like for, for, for prostate cancer. So uh, just one word about MetDiscovery. We are a, a very small biotech. We are a spin-off company which was founded from, from the urology department of the Schuf in, in, in Lausanne. And we are more or less independent since 2002 and, and completely independent since 2005, 6. Um, MetDiscovery is very small. We are mostly working through, through external contacts with a lot of outsourcing and have very little of in-house in um, um, resources. Our interest already when we were like, like at, at the SHUF as a as, as research group of, of um, Patrice Cislanski and, and also Professor Leisinger at, at the time being, we were interested in, in tissue calicrines um, which, which are like, like present in, in, in the prostate. Tissue calicrines, it's, 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 a, it's a family of 15 members, one to 15, and two of them are really specific for, for the prostate, so it's KLK3 and 2, which are more known as, as KLK3 PSA and KLK2 HK2. So there is obviously investigation very intensive on the diagnostic and prognostic um, um, role of, 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 this, of these proteins, and we will hear more about this in a, in a later presentation um, during this morning sessions. We were more interested in, in, in the, the, the potential of, 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 a, of a target for, for, for treatment, and if you are looking at, at publications, there are more than 200 publications which show like involvement of mostly KLK2 in the progression of, 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 of cancers, and, and they are involved in, in different kind of, of, um, of uh, pathways, which are all can be summarized as two more microenvironment um, um, regulators. So, calicrines are involved in, in inflammation pathways through, through um, activation of, of PAR, um, PAR molecules, are involved in proliferation and survival of, of, of tumor cells through different kind of, 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 um, of, of um, messenger molecules and obviously are also like involved in, in the organization of the extracellular matrix um, of, of, of the tumor. So um, new markers, uh, new potential involvements of, of calicrines in, in different kind of, of, of messenger pathways are really coming out more on, 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 a, on, a, on, a, on a monthly basis. And we are looking now into possibility to use like, like inhibitor molecules which will block KLK2, but other, also other calicrines which might take over some of the roles of KLK2 um, through blocking and then have an effect on, on tumor growth. So earlier we were able to show like in animal models that with, with the inhibitor which is blocking KLK2, 4 and 14, we were able to, to, to diminish um, growth of, of tumor in, in xenograft mice um, by, by over 90%. Um, the molecule we are working with is, is it's a biologic. So we have developed a, um, uh, a platform where we are using like, like um, natural inhibitors of, of calicrines. We are working with, with, with serpins and modify them very slightly. So just four amino acids out of 400 are changed. So the molecules are very close to, to, to natural inhibitors of, of, of calicrines. Um, if you are looking at the molecule a little bit closer, it, it's a molecule which is now produced in, in E. coli. It's a variant of the alpha-1 antichemotrypsin, which is like, like a natural inhibitor of KLK2 in the human serum. And serpent type of molecules are already like described as, 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 as therapeutic class in, in different indications. So our, in the, sorry, going back once more, like, like the specificity of, of our molecule, even if it was developed uh, um, in, in the beginning against KLK2, we have also found good cross-reactivity against KLK4 and 14. So we have more like a KLK pathway or cascade inhibitor than a specific KLK2 inhibitor. Where we were going through the, through the preclinical development in the last years is mostly like manufacturing. With, with biologics, manufacturing is always a critical, critical point. So we have now a first GMP batch in hand, which we were producing like, like with a specialized company in Belgium, and we are first uh, still working on the film finish to get into clinical trials. We have done TOC studies only in primates. Calicrines are, are very specific to primates and, and humans, so TOC studies in other, in other animals are not very, very useful, so off-target effects can be studied, but really 
calicrine specific effects can only be studied in primates. So we have made a 28-day repeat dose study in, in 40 animals, uh, quite a big primate study. And what we have found is we have a very good, very good um, um, profile, safety profile. <laughs> Clinical signs, including safety, EGC, respiration, neurological, we have not seen anything up to the highest doses tested. Laboratory tests on blood chemistry, hematology, urinary analysis, also pathology, we have not seen any effect. So the molecule seems to be very well tolerated in, in, in primates. Also, we have not seen any immunogenicity, at least within the 28th day of, of, of treatment we have looked. Half-life of the molecule is, is about 12 hours in, 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 in these animals. So we are now really at the brink to go into, into clinical phase one studies, and we have already accepted, the protocol is already accepted by, by the, the Cantonal Ethics Committee of, of the Canton Vaux. We will do the study at, at the SHUF uh, under the direction of, of Professor Bukla of the Clinical Pharmacology and Toxicology Group of, of, of the SHUF. And it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a protocol where we are using healthy volunteers. It's a very small group, but every single in, um, subject will, re, will um, receive several doses of the molecule, like increasing doses which were interspersed with placebo. So the protocol was... was I was, I was um, also submitted to, to Swiss Medic and, and, and seems to be acceptable as it is. Um, safety, tolerability, anti-drug immune reaction obviously will be like, like the main, main readout we are looking for in, in, in these studies. But we also certainly need to learn more on the PKPD of, 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 of the molecule. So we know like we can very well measure the serum concentration of, of, of the drug in, 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 in samples which we are taking, which we have also done like in, in animal models, but we have uh, very little idea about the PD. So in parallel, we will also develop like, like um, MS-based approaches for, for measuring like, like, like the, the presence of, of the molecule in the serum sample, and even more important, in vitro KLK inhibition assays to look at, at the effect, at the PD effect of, of, of the molecule over prolonged um, duration of the time. So these studies should, should, be, should be initiated within, within the very coming months, we hope in, in, in the second quarter of, of, of this year. When we are looking a little bit forward for the phase two studies where we would like to, to position our, our molecule is, is, is in, a, in, a, in a patient population which, which, is, which is positioned like, like at, 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 at this place here. So the patients we are looking for would have already had like radical local therapy, either prostatectomy, radiotherapy or anything else, would have had already like hormone, hormone treatment and are now in a phase of, of, of reoccurrence of PSA, um, rising PSA, but without any symptoms already appearing. So we think this is an interesting, interesting group. First of all, because of the lack of, of, of treatment options we have there, the patients often would like to try something, but also like when we are looking at, at, this, at, the, at the action of, of calicrines in, 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 the, in the tumor biology, it fits very well like with this stage where we are getting into the metastatic phase of, 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 the, of the disease. We were taking contact with the SAKK and for us, this would certainly be like, like the preferred partner to go into, into clinical, in early clinical phase two studies. So we would very much be interested to do, do the studies in, in, in Switzerland and we have already had initial contact and discussions with, with the SAKK, how we potentially could like, like design like, like the, 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 the design of, of, of the study. So we hope to be able to have like a trial application for, for this phase two study at, towards the end of, of, of this year. What we will look for, obviously, primary outcomes, it will still be safety, PK and PD, PD of, of, of the molecule. But it's a discussion if, if maybe we have already, like, like at this stage, uh, look for, for primary outcome, also like for efficacy. So we are still discussing, like, like, like with the SAKK, like details of the protocol. But it's, it's quite clear it will be like a composite surrogate endpoint we are looking for, like, like um, taking into account like different kind of, of imaging and, and, and PSA measurements with, with in, in, in these patients. 
Okay, I, I think uh, this is about where we are standing now, and I hope um, we will be able to give some more interesting data in, in two years from now, in, in the next meeting here in, in SWOT. For the moment, I would be happy to answer some questions if there are any. Thank you, Christoph. This is, this is fascinating stuff. Any, uh, we've got time for brief questions before we move on. Can I just ask you, so you're going for the crowded market. You're going for early castrate resistance. There are six, seven molecules already lined up to compete in that short time window. Wouldn't you be better off if this is so non-toxic to try and go before androgen suppression, which is very toxic? Oh, yes, I, I think that that's, that's a very valid question. So uh, it, it, it's a... Yeah. It's a question of, of how to design the, the, the trials. It, it, it's, it's much easier at this stage to design a trial, to have some, some clinical readout. But I think if we have any, any clinical proof of concept that, that like targeting of calicrines in prostate cancer makes sense, then certainly we can think of other, other phase two trials with, with other population groups. But I think this population group is, 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 is well selected to have like, like a, a quick um, like clinical readout if there is any yeah. chance for, for a treatment like this. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. So <clears throat> now we move.